how to pick up women where you work. When guys ask me about dating women at the job, I'm usually against it, and I'll tell you why. But first, I need all my players to go to Players University and check out the new curriculum and classes that just dropped. If you're ready to take your game to the next level, then Players University is for you. The link is below. Now, back to this good game. I don't suggest dating women at the job because you shouldn't shit where you eat. In layman's term, causing problems where you work can interfere with stacking your paper, and that's a big no-no. How many times do I have to tell you guys pussy ain't worth losing cash over? But if you insist on trying to get laid where you get paid, I got you covered. If you follow my directions, you should be good to go. But first, you should be aware of the cons from dating at work. She could lie and accuse you of sexual harassment. You could lose your job for breaking work rules. Hell, she could start harassing you at the job if things go left. I've always said there's a thin line between a work romance and a sexual harassment suit. Women are fickled. If she finds you attractive, she'll jump at the chance on going out on a date with you. But if you're not her type, she'll jump at the chance to run down to the HR department to complain about you. But I can tell you're determined on getting some workplace nookie. So here's how you do it. Step one, start having job related conversations with her. Never try to pull her on the first conversation. She's at work. She has a personal reputation and so do you. Like I said, keep the conversation light and make sure it's about the job. Step two, after breaking the ice, introduce yourself, let her do the same, then get back to work. Now that she knows you, the next time you two talk will be easier and smoother. After a few more work-related conversations, you can kind of move the conversation towards other topics. Never sex, never relationship questions though, just other topics. But before you do this, make sure you have established a solid rapport with her. Here are a few ways you will know if you did this. If she starts initiating conversations with you out of the blue, then you did a good job. If she starts joking with you, then you did a great job. If she starts to flirt with you, in the words of Bill and Ted, you did an excellent job. Here's another play you can make before you try to date her. Have a few different women bring lunch to your job at different times. If she's anywhere around, she will notice or the word will get back to her. I told you, women are competitive. It's like a challenge to them to be with a desirable guy. If she sees other women around you, your stock price just went up. Now, this step isn't necessary, but it can't hurt. Next, do what I call the push away act. Basically, it's reverse psychology. Jokingly say things like, you know, if we didn't work together, you'll be, you'd be all over me. Or once I quit this job, you're mine. See how she reacts. If she laughs and jokes back, that's a good thing. If she gets serious, then you might have hit a speed bump. So pump your brakes. After a few weeks, it's time to go in. Don't beat around the bush. Answer out. Be direct. Be smooth. Tell her you're about to head out for a drink after work, and if she wants to tag along, you got her. Or maybe through your conversations, you found out that she likes to go bowling. Invite her to do that because you're curious to see how good she really is at knocking pins down. It doesn't matter where you ask her to go as long as she says yes. But if she says no or makes an excuse why she can't, don't push it. Leave it alone. Just reply, that's cool, and if she ever changes her mind, it's an open invitation. If she really was busy, she will bring up the subject of going out again. If she's not interested, mm, she won't. Either way, don't push the issue. As a man, you're already skating on thin ice in the post-Me Too era. And there you have it. How to answer women you work with out on dates, and what signs and signals to look out for. Now, if you're interested in going deeper and taking your game to the next level, like I said in the beginning of this video, hit the link below. It will take you to Players University. Check out things and become a student of the game. Don't forget to hit the like button and comment with any questions below. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, play on, player.